through the magic of visual effects, we're turning 21st century British Columbia into 17th century feudal Japan. I'm Michael Clyatt, the visual effects supervisor, producer. It's a show with visual effects on a grand scale. It's massive. Being able to create this isn't something that you can just do like that. We're in the next stage of storytelling. Something that was exciting for me was that we too could go on a journey. In VFX, we're building a world that we haven't really seen before. We're looking at castles that don't stand anymore, and we're just based on like very scarce records, building them back up and creating them in VFX. Basically, we're making a 10-part feature here. The scale of the visual effects reflects that. Typically, a large visual effects show you would have, you know, one to 2,000 visual effects shots. We'll probably be in the realm of about five to 6,000. We've got various scenes with tens of thousands of samurai. We can't hire 100,000 samurai on a given day, and so we have to create those characters digitally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly a drone over a field and we'll pull back and find our practical people, which is about approximately 120. We'll have to multiply that to make it look like there's an army of 10,000 here. There's three methods that we use to recreate digital samurai. And the first method would be scanning, extremely accurate. The second method we have is actually, you know, one of my assistants like T. Parker, she goes and she takes images where we have an actor stand in a T-pose and she walks around him or her and takes about 300 images. Those images then get fed into a certain program and that builds a CG character. I can never uh, effectively tell anyone what it is uh, to be uh, Japanese in 1600. Um, what I can do is to just hold up the lens and try to watch a rendered version of it. Be a storm by sunset. The storm sequence in 101 is really, really neat. When we shot it, we had about a quarter of Tornaga ship on a gimbal that rocked about 27 degrees in either direction. We're gonna add CG rain, CG wind, practical waves that were actually there. We're actually gonna even uh, amplify those to another degree with CG water dynamics and simulations. Have you bastards one of them? Oh! I think it was a real education in realizing what it takes to do it right. It needed the scope and the scale that we've created here. We actually took the side of a real mountain and made it look like half of a mountain is sliding down the hills around Tornaga, around Blackthorn's position, and actually covering up this encampment that's below. And the goal, of course, is that you're not gonna be able to tell. We did it all because we knew that it would feel real. I think in the end, it, it really worked in a, in a special way just as an audience member to feel like I'm seeing something that no one has ever seen before. It's just been truly awe-inspiring and it's so exciting to see it on this scale. I hope that the last feeling that an audience member has is one just of curiosity. What is this world that we may or may not be that familiar with? That's what's interesting is that it helps you tell the story that actually challenges you to tell an even better story. That takes me to the scale of this. I'm here talking uh, to you guys, but there's a whole host of really incredibly talented people behind me. You know, it's uh, it takes a village here, and there's probably you know there's probably a thousand artists working on this show right now. I hope the viewers are transported in 17th century feudal Japan, going along with this story. I hope they're completely immersed in our show because of the beautiful, stunning visuals that we're going to bring to you. I've never worked on anything with this much attention to detail and this much hard work. It's just been truly awe-inspiring and hopefully different, too, than anything we've ever seen, uh, but also 
<laughs> genuinely terrifying uh, when you realize how many times we went to bed saying, I don't think anyone's ever done this before. <laughs>